started out in 1964. And when I went to Studio One, that's where I met Bob and Sister Rita. Studio One was one of the only places that anyone could record at that time because there were only two studios in Jamaica at the time. And this was Studio One, Coxon, and Joe Creed. So everyone, every singer then, had to go through either of these two producers. So this was where all the goodies, you know, came from. We all were in the same stable. We went to the same schooling. And this was where I met everyone, like the gay lads, as you mentioned, Bob Andy, Ken Booth, you know, to name a few. But in 1966, Six, I think, Bob, Andy, and myself got together at the same studio, and we recorded a song called Really Together. Then we went on, we passed through that whole phase there. We left there, and we were aiming for higher heights. So we went on to Harry J, who was another producer who came about after the whole thing. And we recorded, um, we re-recorded Nina Simone's Young, Gifted and Black. And surprisingly, that went number two on the British charts. So this was where we got our first international exposure. of their work. It's history and, as I said, it's a treasure. But at the time, we were just young, upcoming singers. Everyone wanted just to hear the songs playing on the radio. No one thought about survival and finance. It's now after we passed through all those fantasies from hearing our record played on the radio that we realized that Times change and survival is the name of the game and, you know, this is worth what it's worth. So now the web has been removed from our eyes, then we are seeking for what we deserve or what we are worth. 